Welcome back everyone. Just like the other tutorial that I've made a long time ago, actually a year ago, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your iPhone XS Max, iPhone whatever, whatever is running iOS 14. Now the same process will work exactly with iOS 13 as well, which is really cool. But the only difference is more controllers are supported for the iOS 14 device, which I'll make separate videos on once those controllers come out. I'm pretty sure the PlayStation 5 controller is also going to be compatible with this specific device and all iOS 14 devices, which is really cool. So the only thing you want to make sure is you're at least on iOS 13. If you're on iOS 14, it's great. If you're on iOS 13, if you're below iOS 13, it's not going to work, so keep that in mind. So this is pretty much the process. You want to make sure that you go into the settings within your iPhone. You want to scroll up and you want to go into the Bluetooth settings, which should be right at the very top, and then which should be right here. And then once you're here, you want to go ahead and make sure everything looks good. Okay, you want to make sure your Bluetooth is on is everything. Now you want to grab your PlayStation 4 controller. You want to make sure it's discoverable, and you want to make sure obviously it works. And then once it's powered on, mine actually might be dead, is you want to click the PlayStation button right here while simultaneously clicking the share button. That's usually how I get the best success. Make sure your phone is on. You want to hold these down at the same time. And at the very top, your PlayStation controller should be blinking as it does right here. And you'll see right here that we do have the DualShock 4 wireless control, whatever it is. So as long as you're holding those down, that should come up. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and tap on it. It'll take a second or two for it to connect. Now once it says connected, you're pretty much good to go. A great way to see if you're connected or not is to hop out and see if you're able to... And I guess it doesn't work on here. So now it's time to load up a game. Now keep in mind, not every single game works. I've seen Real Racing 3, this game does work, which is really good. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick demonstration on how it works. And you can do this with emulators, and you can do this with all sorts of different type of games too that are supported. Again, not every single game is supported, but some of them are. And as you can see, that specifically worked right there. And these maneuver it this way, this way. So you can see it makes making me go this way. Okay, great. Okay, I don't know what it's saying. Okay, alright. And now the process is pretty much the same as normal. You go ahead and just play the game however you'd like. And the controller works as you can see, and it's pretty straightforward from there. I definitely do like playing with the controller more than I like playing, you know, just with the game itself. But I don't really play too many games in my life anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But that's really pretty much the process. Like I said, not every game is compatible. Most games are, and more and more are getting compatible every single day. And I'm pretty sure with iOS 14, a ton more are going to get there. So that's really pretty much it. That's the process. If you guys have any questions or into any other problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.